Welcome to Backup Exec 2010, protecting your VMware virtual environments with incremental or differential backups. New to Backup Exec 2010 is the ability to do an incremental or a differential backup of a VMware environment. Now this does require that the VMware environment be vSphere, and it also requires that the VMs have the hardware tools uh, for version 7. So with those things in mind, let's take a look at the difference for doing an incremental and a differential backup. Now how Backup Exec 2010 pulls this off is through the use of a policy. As we can see here, we have some default policies that are already created and you can see them as agent for VMware differential and agent for VMware incremental. Now the easiest way for you to get started is to make a copy of one of these. We can just right click and copy and it will ask us where do we want to copy it to. Do we want to copy it to the same media server or to a different media server? And once you have a copy created, then you can edit this uh, piece uh, instead of editing the original. Now what that allows you to do is change the name, change the description, and change the functionality of the job templates inside the policy. Really what a policy allows you to do here is to merge two different backup schedules into one capability or one piece of functionality. And what do I mean by that? Really what I mean is that you've got a weekly full backup schedule and you've got a daily incremental backup schedule. So the idea here is that on Sunday of, of each week we would create a brand new full backup of this virtual machine and then each day between Sunday and the following Sunday we're doing incremental backups. So it's a much smaller backup. This gives you a much more robust capability for how you're protecting your virtual environment. Now as you would expect to see we can edit the weekly template and the uh, daily incremental template and we can tell it where do we want to store the information we can give it a new name if we choose to do so uh, and we can give it VMware specific uh, settings so very much like we're used to doing a normal full uh, VMware vSphere vStorage API type backup we can come through and create these and modify these same settings so in this case you can see that I am using the hot add feature I am saying that we do want to do GRT on the weekly fulls and the same thing can be done in the daily incremental. So when we edit that template I can tell it where do I want to store it, give it a new name, specify the same type of VMware settings. Now once you have this configured what you really want to do from here is say okay new jobs using this policy. This asks you to do when, you cre when you're creating new jobs using the policy is associate the policy with a backup selection list. So this is where you can come in here and say, okay, I know I've created a, a certain grouping of virtual machines and I can select that group and now I'm associating the backup policy functionality that we looked at previously with the actual set of VMs that we choose to back up. So let me cancel out of this and let's take a look at what creating one of these groupings might look like. And so we basically can come in here, give it a name, and then walk through our virtual center environment and choose a grouping, one or many virtual machines, to back up using this policy. So I've selected a, a virtual machine. In this case it is just one virtual machine. I can go through and specify resource credentials, make sure that I can access the virtual center and the virtual machine as necessary. Once I've combined the policy with a backup selection list, we will get two jobs that are created for us. One is the uh, full and incremental weekly and one is the daily incremental so the, the weekly full backup and the daily incremental backup. Notice these two jobs are sitting in the active list and that is because now they have been scheduled to run either on a weekly basis in the case of the weekly full or a daily basis in case of the daily incremental 
job. So now these are going to sit here in this active list and when the time comes based on the schedule that we set up whether that is to kick off at midnight or uh, whenever that may be they will go ahead and kick themselves off. And there were settings inside the policy itself to say okay don't do an incremental until a full has already been done. So you can kind of prioritize and order how those take place. Now, once we've run these backup jobs, and I can simply right click and select run now on these, and it'll say, okay, you chose to do a run now. We're still going to follow the schedule based on the policy, but you can go ahead and run it right now as well. So you notice we've got a few of these that have been successful down here in uh, the job history. And really, what, where you start to notice the difference is a couple of places. And let's just point out a few things on the byte count for what we backed up. So if you look at these two rows right here, these were weekly full backups that I ran, uh, you know, just manually myself. And they were both nearly six gigs in size. And then if you look at these tests here, this is where I ran the daily incremental and modified a few files between those two different uh, incremental backup runs. And so notice we went from nearly 6 gigs in the weekly full to 23 megs and 90 megs um, uh, as the incremental backups. So uh, very noticeable in your daily difference in the amount of data you're backing up and the amount of data you're storing. And then you just can repeat this process throughout each week. And then you can choose to uh, how how many copies you want to keep and how long you want to store that data. So you're in complete control of managing that. And this is a brand new feature for Backup Exec 2010 and vSphere, and it'll really make a difference in your daily backups. It's going to take a lot less time to do those backups, and it's going to store a lot less data uh, over the course of that week. So this daily and incremental uh, backup is something that's very interesting and going to be very useful.